And as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the set-apart place and the Sadducees came up to them, because remember, they were in the temple grounds, and being annoyed because they taught the people and announced the resurrection from the dead in Yeshua, and they arrested them and put them in jail until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of men became about 5,000. 5,000 who, be who believed. Now, by the way, this got me in trouble before, but I want to just point this out, because hopefully you'll understand. Did these 5,000 who believed have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Did they have Paul's writings? Peter's letters? John's letters? What did they have? Two things, the Tanakh and the testimony of the witnesses. So essentially, that is the Gospels. They had the actual, John was there, Kepha was there, they gave their testimony. This is Revelation where it says, these are those who have the testimony and the commandments. What is that, Revelation 12, 17. Okay? These are those who have the commandments and the testimony of Yeshua. And so, look, I'm not against Paul's writings, John's writings, Peter's writings, James's writings, Jude's writings, any of that stuff, but realize the question of need. Do you need that stuff to get to the truth? These guys didn't. They got, says, 5,000 believed, and we're going to see over and over, and 3,000, and 10,000, and 5,000, all without those letters. So it is possible to get there without those things. I just think it helps to have them a lot. And I'm glad they're in your book, and I would never have a thought of taking them out of your book. But just realize here, it says, the number of men became 5,000 who believed without any of that stuff. 